So, so now you can only really hit two of them in 10 foot by 10 foot because everyone takes about a 5 by 5 square. Okay. Uh, they get resistance checks and botch them both. And they fall to the ground? <laughs> really? Yep. Is that easy? On it. Well, 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 they're not dead. I mean, they're apparently they're not Canadian because we don't fall on ice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a little different. But they're not like dead or anything, they just fall. Yeah. Did they take some damage from it? No. If you just fell yeah, down on your floor, would you take damage? Okay, but we're on a ship. Wouldn't they start like flip flopping around, like sliding and stuff? They're just having a hard time getting up, right? It's a greasy floor. Because they're all greasy. It's a greasy floor. Yeah, but floor. it's a greasy it's moving floor. It's moving and it's greasy. It's yeah, like... but they're 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 used to a ship. Sailors don't really... But they're not used to a ship on Greece. No. No. There's no additional penalties for it being a ship. No. <laughs> um, okay, so I... It's four, seven, eight, nine... Nine times eight is, what, 72? Sounds about right. So the grease wears off in 72 ticks. It's three rounds plus one per level. Right, but we don't have rounds, so okay. a round is a full count of eight. Um, okay. And let's see which which two... Are any of our crew are members at the ballista or the catapult yet? No, because I'm no. going into light ballista and I'm a 27. Well, but could any of the crew members have gotten there sooner? Uh, no, the crew members are running back inside for their weapons. Because all oh. their weapons are inside. Cool. So... so I mean, but I told- I yelled them to go to the catapult, so oh, somebody shit, should be going to the catapult. Oh shit, my Holy shit, I rolled a two. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be great. I'm so excited. Oh shit, maybe not. Ooh. Come on, okay. So this is 72. And this is seven, and ooh, an eight, and this is seven and eight, actually. And you rolled a two? Actually, it would be a three because it's casting time two, not one. Okay. Yeah, so it's a three. Okay. Uh, the next archer goes. He, as well, takes a shot at Anna. You seem to be a popular person today. Uh, but again, <laughs> sails right through you, or right past you. Ha! Right through you? She right does. through you. Okay. And one Wait. of the sword... Yes? Wouldn't it be Lily's turn? She was at 7. She now, she's not at 10. Yeah, so the archer went at 9, and now it's a swordsman and Lily. They both go at 10. So I'm oh, gonna sorry. I think there's a delay on the thing. Yeah, there's a pretty big delay. Mm. I'm gonna pop up again and I'm gonna glitter dust the other people like people with swords. Yay, okay. glitter dust! What's awesome. the area effect of glitter dust? <clears throat> area of effect. 20 foot cube. Yeah. So you're targeting the other archers? So I'm targeting the swordsmen. Okay. Well, uh, how many other archers are there, though? There There's are a total of four or? archers and two swordsmen. And how many archers are down? Like, two? Two are down. Two are down. Oh, I'm gonna target the other archers, then. Okay. And um, I'm gonna scream, PARTY BOAT, MOTHERFUCKERS! <laughs> <laughs> PARTY BOAT SPELL! We should just use that spell for fun next time we have a party. <laughs> And then we're just blinded, and we're like, we don't know. <laughs> they both fail. Nice. Is there damage? No. Yes, no, no, there's it, damage. Glitter dust blinds them. It does not damage them. One d4 plus one per level that's, damage. It's been damage. Yeah, but that's actually duration. I don't know why it's put in the damage section. That's wrong. That it's, would have been so cool. I'm like glitter in your eyes. It burns. <laughs> Okay. Ten. <laughs> and roll me a d4. Okay. Tabs are wizardry. Okay. Two. Two plus one. 
minded for... Okay, so that's three, uh, four, five with your other thing. Five times eight is 40. Okay. Um, and roll your new initiative. Uh, one of the swordsmen runs across the plank, uh, hops across the plank, and takes a swing at uh, Avicen, who is right there, who has walked up to the plank to try and smash it. Takes a nice swing at Avicen, and I'm class 11, whacks you with his long sword. You take nice. five damage. You are at okay. 42. Oh my god, she has so much health. I'm very strong. WTF, that's so much health? Yeah, tell me about I it. Rolled a, I rolled an 18 endurance. The beer maids got it. Holy shit. Yeah. I have like 5 HP. I have spells for you too, don't worry. <laughs> I can help. Uh, Lily, uh, initiative? Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna cast... Uh... All the archers are down, so I'm gonna cast magic missile on like. If there's a guy crossing a plank, I'm gonna target him. Okay. So initiative. Yeah. Y you can move on. I'll just. Well, I kind of need to know where it ends up. Okay. Five. Okay, uh, Avison, you are there right mm -hmm. now. There's a swordsman standing on the plank, swinging his sword at you, just dug into your arm. What I want to swing my flail at his head. All right. Uh, his head's actually a little out of range because he's actually up on the gangplank, but yeah. you can oh, totally okay. whack him with the flail. I'll whack him with the flail. Nice. All right. Flail it whack. is D20 plus five. I'm sorry, plus four. Plus four. Seven. Your flail misses just shy. Just inches shy of him. The flail flails. Give me a D8 <laughs> plus seven for initiative. D8 plus seven? Mm -hmm. What's her next action? What, why is it plus seven? Because that's her weapon speed. The flail speed. is seven. Seven is my speed. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's pretty slow. It's really slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it does 2D4 plus three damage. So it's pretty good. Holy cow! To actually, not this. Abbott's beefy. She's kind she of put a tank. her in the front. <laughs> um, the next swordsman gets up behind the other guy because the gangplank's not that wide. So he gets up behind him and is just like trying to, you know, push past to get past to hop onto the ship. Um, but he can't really do anything, so he is waiting. I did yell at the crew to, to man the ballistas and catapult. Did any of them listen to me? Mm. Yeah, well, the catapult is too close. Like, you can't hit that ship. It's way too close. Yeah. So, um, they saw Faye getting the, the light ballista and they okay. went to go pick up their weapons, which I guess wouldn't have been inside because you guys were planning on pirating, so why would they leave their weapons inside? Yeah. They must be stashed around. Um, our table isn't big enough to actually fit the entire, to everyone in the battle. This battle's way too big. Yeah, but as soon as we would, like, got in close to the other ship, they would have been ready. Like, yeah, we would have told yeah. them we were yeah, gonna yeah, jump yeah. them. I, yeah. Uh, the, the problem I'm facing is that our, our initiative table doesn't have room for enough people. We're actually I mean, running these technical difficulties. <laughs> Can we like make them count like just one roll for like three people or something? Like we, we group them. Yeah, I could just class. do I could just do banana crew. Like maybe they they all roll the same. Bananas. Bananas crew. Yeah. Ooh, and they roll poorly together. Okay. It's okay. When they roll great, it's going to be like ship destroyed. One <laughs> turn. Okay. Uh, we have Lily, Archer 1, Hammer Fist, and Archer 4 all at the same time. The two archers try and get up and get out of the grease, and neither of them make it. Okay. 
Um, Lily and Hammerfist go at the same time. Hammerfist grabs his weapon that was, you know, uh, tucked in a barrel and starts running back towards the, the side of the ship to make an attack. So... Mm -hmm. Lily, would you cast Magic Missile? Yeah. It hits the swordsman who's in front uh, that's attacking Avacyn. Roll for damage. I think it's d4 mm -hmm. plus 3 for you. D4 plus 3. 5 damage. 5 damage. Okay. Uh, initiative. Could I technically use, like, do we have flammable substance? Isn't grease flammable? Yeah, yeah. yeah but I was wondering. What do you mean? Do we, do we have, I mean, something to start a fire with? You we don't have like any current burning far, fires. You'd have to, like, go and prepare a fire. Like, you know, go get some flint and steel and some tinder and start a fire. It's not. But we always lift the ballista on fire. Yeah, but you, at that point in time, you were preparing for the ship to come ahead. You had time to, like, wrap the ballista in oil soaked claw, the yeah. ballista bolts in oil soaked claws and Definitely. get a fire going. Like, you, you saw the ship coming way ahead. You would have had to, like, have a fire going ahead. It takes a few minutes to make a fire back in the day. You don't just, like, light as... Um, I just thought bit. we were... I thought we prepared to take on the ship. I thought we, like, came prepared. Because all of a sudden we're like scrambling to be ready, and we had already planned on taking the ship, so I don't. Yeah, that, I don't know that, when we wouldn't be ready. Does being ready mean having fire on your ship? Because that sounds like a terrible yeah. idea to me. Sounds like the worst <laughs> idea in the world. I mean, uh, so just next time, say, you, tell me what being ready means. Like more, okay. the more of a communication we have, the better. Okay. Otherwise, I'm gonna assume whatever I would do, or you know, whatever I think is reasonable. And if it's then, I'm like, whoa, you would not do that. Then we we get into this weird situation. So, you know, over communicate. Well, do I see fire on their ship. No. That's People usually keep <laughs> fire away from their ships. Yeah, it's uh, really generally considered a good idea to keep the the wooden thing away from the fire. Usually. Okay. Okay, so the two archers that are blinded, I don't think they can do anything about their blinded status. I think Glitter Dust is just blinded, blinded. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For him. Forever. <clears throat> mm, those in effect must stay with their spell or be blinded. In addition, all within the area are covered by the dust, which cannot be removed and continues to sparkle until fades. Are we covered in it yet? No, we it's really over on be. the other side of the ship. Or on their, their ship. Okay, so these guys are blinded and they're archers, so they can't see where they're shooting, so they are effectively knocked out of the battle. Um, so let's actually just put you guys at 50 each. The bam Okay, uh, Lily, you... your turn again. You're yeah, fast. I'm actually gonna, like... I'm gonna crawl to, like, the side and take out the dagger, and if someone hops on the ship, I'm gonna be ready to attack. So I'll, I'll be, like, a ready-for-action position thing. Okay, um, give me an initial... So you're and gonna I'm crawl just, underneath where the... Hold on, were you crawling? No, I was ducking, but now I'm gonna move forward to, like... If someone hops on board, I want to be close so that I can run and stab them. Faye, Avacyn, and Hammerfist are all right there. There's not enough room for a third person, a fourth person. Okay, then I'll just stay where I am. I'll okay. stay ducked for now. I right. can't do anything. Let me know when you want to hop in. Yeah. December, you get your second bolt knocked and shoot. Who are you shooting at? Um, The nearest person with a weapon so the, okay, I, I think the sword's been standing in front of Avison. yeah that's yeah. what I thought do it roll the hit d20 plus 4 far. yeah oh my gosh it shoots right past him and plops into the ocean December the world's worst assassin <laughs> the world's worst assassin shooting her arrows like nothing <laughs> <laughs> The worst assassin. 
Da-da, da. All right, Hammer Fist and Swordsman number one go at the same time. Hammer Fist takes a swing and whaps you need him. Initiative, right? Yes, I do. Oh, uh, didn't you just roll initiative? No, that was your roll to hit. I'm sorry. Please roll initiative. So, yeah. D8 plus four, right? Yeah. <sighs> so that's just another four on top of that. Okay. Um, Hammerfist swings his axe into the swordsman who swings at him at the same time. Swordsman misses. Hammerfist cleaves the, slams his axe into the guy, and the guy tumbles oh, cool. off the ship, off the nice. board into the water. Dead blue. I like Hammerfist. Yeah. He's baller. Um, which means that... It's actually just one, two... And he now goes at three, four, seven. Um, one. And Hammerfist rolls initiative. Is ten. Uh, the archer, the greased archers get their saving or their resistance checks. One of them passes. He manages to get out of the grease and into a position where he can shoot again. The other one fails miserably and is still greased. Avacyn, your turn. Is there people around us? There's or? the gangplank in front of you. And a soldier mm -hmm. with his sword out, uh, walking towards you, but he's still, still not quite in reach. You could either okay. hop up Can on I the Can I pull plank. the plank out from under him? Like uh, off you'd so have to drop falls? your flail to the ground. Oh, okay. Well, deck. I'll get up and... Well, if he's coming over, I'm going to wait for him to cross. And then when he's close enough, hit him with the flail so he falls off the plank. Okay. By the way, Neil, what happens with oh, the grease? Like, does it actually disappear? Does it stay there, but people don't fall on it anymore? It's magical. It disappears. It evaporates. Oh. <laughs> I had a plan, but now it it all came burning down. Well, it doesn't <laughs> came burning down because it was planning on burning. Faye, <laughs> what do you do, Faye? Finally, ballista light. Oh, yeah. So you turn your light ballista. You finally got it locked and everything. Who are you aiming at? Wait, so there was... These guys are down... There's one swordsman who is approaching Avacyn. There are two oh, archers who are blinded, and one archer who's on the ground trying to get up but keeps slipping, and one so who's on the ground. So I the swordman on the plank. Okay. Yeah, you can hit that. Uh, roll to hit. Uh, what is the ballista there again? Every week, same issues. Yeah. What is <laughs> such a non-traditional weapon. I don't remember off the top of my head. And I've to compliment that we've got two different rule books that cover ballistas. And they do it in different ways. Ballista light, uh, D20 plus eight. Oh. Nope. Miss. At least it's not the one. Now, what do I need to do? If uh, I want to do it again. If you want to do it again, uh, what did we say? D20 or D8 plus 25, but now you're actually already over there, so D8 plus 20. Shit. That's actually probably a little bit too fast. I think it should actually be a lot slower. Um, but go ahead. All right. Uh, put a D before that. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, I was like, what am old? That's well, not, <laughs> not much better. <laughs> Good, damn it. Uh, the Bananas crew goes. What the hell do you guys all have? They all just have, like, clubs and shit, so... Uh, a few of them grab these gangplanks that you have on board, and they start shoving them across to the other ship. Um... Yeah, that's what your crew does. They they build more bridges so they can cross to the other ship. Do I know that like um, the grease is already wore off, or is it still active? For it's still active. It wears off at seventy nine. Right now we're at twenty seven. 
I have Ooh. no idea what that means. Uh, well, you know how you roll initiative? That adds to yeah. whatever the current turn is, or the round is, or the tick is, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, so I have the, like a few turns? You have until the count of 79. At the count 79, the grease disappears. Um, okay. Right now it is count 28. Okay, not bad. So I'm gonna... So the wind is pointing towards their ship from our ship, right? Uh, no, the wind is going from the back of your ship to the front of your ship, which at this point is the front of their ship to the back of their ship. Eh. Alright, I'll wait for... Okay, so I'm gonna cast Ride the Wind when they are going through the gank flank, and I'll, like, signal our people not to get on there. Okay. Um, roll initiative for that. So it would make, like, sideways to them so they would fall off, right? I have no idea what you're trying to do, but if you're casting spell, give me the initiative roll for that. Okay. But I'm timing it for them to be crossing the bridge. Who's them? The enemy team. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the enemies. Uh, okay, D6 plus 2, but I'm, I'm timing it, so I don't want to cast it when there's nobody. Yeah, yeah, you can hold it until it goes. Initiative roll is... D6 plus 2, 5. 5. Um, going to go. We're already like 10 minutes over time, so yeah. we need to kill this ship. Yeah. yeah well, we usually finish the fight, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Avacyn, you and the swordsman clash. You were ready for him. You get your attack off first. Roll the hit. Okay. Uh, same D what? D20 plus 4. Ooh, terrible miss. Uh, don't even get come close to him. He returns the blow. Oh, wow. He criticals you? What? He criticals you. Give me a... Well, first off, you take eight damage. Where did uh, you all sheet go? Here Taking 13 total and give me a critical resistance check. D20 plus 7. Oops, I did that wrong. Sorry. Uh, 25. Pass. You take no critical effects. Okay. Nice give thanks. me an uh, initiative roll for your next attack. Which is what again? I'm sorry. D8 plus. Uh, What's your weapon speed? Seven? Seven. Yeah, six to seven. Thirteen. 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 Yeah, yeah. And he has... December! Oh, goodness. Everyone, maybe this time. <laughs> maybe this time. Yay! Yay! Ah! It's perfect! 24! Um, Headshot! <laughs> well, this was not aimed at the head, but yeah. You shoot the, <laughs> the swordsman that Avacyn is fighting. Shoot him! Shoot him good! And he's not wearing any armor, so that is actually a double crit. <laughs> uh, so, crit. three times double damage crit. dice. Uh, 3d3. Three Five. Okay. I either roll terrible or I roll awesome. Never yeah. anywhere in between. <laughs> right through the th right through the throat, he tumbles to the oh. side and uh, lands on the plank. Oopsies! Wow! So, are the guys crossing the plank yet, Neil? Um, no, but December needs to roll her initiative. Too bad. Seven. Uh, this guy is still greased. Hammer fist, uh, axe in hand, starts running across the 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 gangplank towards the other side of the ship, where the other crew has pulled out weapons and is coming towards you guys. Um, oh, hammer fist, get back! <laughs> Don't you see? I was trying to save you. Yeah, he runs like straight into the middle of the battle. 
and no! takes a swing at one of the other crew members. I think he's suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done to you? He's just trying to get the hell away. Coming. So so the other ship. Our ship is hits. great. Ship. He hits them for them. Well, hits one uh, and just like takes it. Yeah, he just runs over with a battle axe in one hand, swings it at one of these guys, cracks him in the ribs, and the guy just like keels over and falls to the ground. Let me do math I'm though. He's getting all the XP, man. <laughs> <laughs> he wants that 10 gold bonus and some XP. It's like, guys, I have good news, it's a bad news. Hammer Fist leveled up, you didn't get any <laughs> Uh, Lily. Yeah. Your turn. Well, there's nobody crossing the thingy except Hammer Uh, here. no, your crew and their crew are, they're pretty much going to meet on the gangplanks at the same time at this rate. Uh, they're actually go at the same round. Yeah, I'm not casting anything then. Okay. If everyone's meeting up, I can't. Alright. Lily waits. I'll just hold. Uh, Archer turns uh, from shooting at Anna and sh turns towards Faye and takes a shot at Faye, whose armor class. Who is... Who's taking a shot at me? The. Archer. One of the archers. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and he hits you for six damage. Bam. And rolls initiative. Four is twelve. This is going pretty far over. Uh, December. Yeah. Go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fourteen is a. What are you? Who are you shooting? Uh, the nearest one of their crew members trying to come over. Yeah, totally hit. Sweet. D three awesome. damage. Two. Okay. Uh, you shoot him through the arm, and he does not go down. But he's bleeding massively. She shot him in yeah. an artery in his arm, and he's he's dying. Not not quite, but he's hurt. <laughs> How many archers are standing right now shooting? Um, all one archer is shooting. Two of them are blinded. And the third is still stuck in the grease. Uh, December, give me an initiative check. Seven. Seven. All right. The royal crew members and the bananas crew member crew members mm -hmm. uh, collide midships. Um, there were <laughs> one, two, three, four, five five places where they can attack at a time. So five people get attacks. One of them, well, except for Hammerfist, gets surrounded by three. Um, yeah, oh, Hammerfist Hammer Fist gets critical. No, double critical. Hammy. Silly. Hammy. You can't die. Can I, can I cast? When is it my turn? Like, uh, you can interrupt your turn later? and change it to something else so at any point. <laughs> I'm gonna cast rewards. Battle Fate on him. <gasps> battle Fate. Oh. Yes. What's that? Can I do that? Um, hold on. He I'm takes saving this for this. He uh, he takes five damage from the double crit because they rolled very poorly. <laughs> um, but he critically fails his saving throw or his save. Oh, no, he's it. gonna lose an arm or something. Yeah, and a critical fail on. The save is really bad because it ups the die the severity category by one. Um, oh shit, he's gonna be injured. Oh, well, hopefully. If if I can cast this on him, it will help him, right? Um, it, it would have helped him beforehand. Like it, it will take time to cast. Oh, I see. Yeah. But it says it says the spell alters the probability to favor one character or creature locked in battle. Yes, absolutely. But so it it will give him a bonus. I don't remember the exact bonus, but it will give him a bonus to whatever it is that he gets a bonus to. Uh, I think it changes depending on the round or on what you roll. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yes, battle fate is great to cast on people in combat. 
Um, so, severity 2d6. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, Neil, no, Neil, please. Neil, severity no. 12. No, Neil, Neil, please. Neil, Location no. 9. That is his right arm, severity 12. Shoulder shattered. No movement or attacks, major bleeding. No, hammy. Um, that is his right Sorry, shoulder. Sorry, we can heal him. Oh my god, at least it's not cut off or something. No, it's That's completely true. shattered. True. They hit him with a, a big uh, What's club. shattered? It disappeared? Like, broken into lots of little pieces. Like, badly, like... Uh, if you drop a glass on the ground, it shatters. That shatters? Okay. Yeah. But it's still attached. It's Yeah, but the bone is just, like, broken into a million pieces. So is it, like, repairable, or is uh, it, like... Don't, what, why don't you worry about that later, if you... Is it like <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep fighting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he is so, effectively out of battle. He cannot fight. So, so I don't need to cast this... anything on him then, because I would just yeah. waste it. Okay. Well, let's take this moment to discuss at what point in this battle are we going to finish this battle, or are we going to come to a stopping point, like... Just now, the swords have clashed and Hammerfist has fallen. We could pick it up. Point where we want to pick it up from, or do we want to continue this battle till another point, or do we want to try and end it? What do you guys think? It's probably going to take another half hour to finish. Yeah, we can end it now. We can end it. What? Well, we'll another half hour? Hammerfist. Another half hour? You want to do it now? No, we want to pick it up later. No, we're gonna we're gonna say when we return, we're locked in battle. Okay. And we'll play it out next week. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm it's super late. tired. I'm sorry, guys. No problem. Okay. All right. So shout outs, guys. Uh, Stephanie Powell was able to. Yeah. Um, well, everybody, thank you for having me again. Um, it's been fun. I like trying to bash people in, and I'm sorry it's not working. Um, <laughs> hopefully next time. Um, thank you to all the people involved, of course, and everyone here today. And if you want to follow us, everything is MissClicks, M-I-S-S-C-L-I-K-S. Um, check out the YouTube and the Reddit and our Twitter and Facebook. On Facebook, please give us a like if you can. We're very close to a 1,000, which is our, you know, obvious goal. So uh, thank you, everybody. If you want to follow me, I am Stephanie Aaron P. on Twitter. Have a wonderful evening. Bye. Uh, Anna? Thank you to everyone who tuned in. Uh, thank you for putting up with all of us as this is like kind of esports and gaming uh, industry break time. So a lot of us are a little bit quieter and a little bit more busy with more personal life things. So thanks for staying in touch with us and putting up with us and not being bored with us. Uh, thanks to everyone who tuned in and please uh, keep tuning in and tell your friends. I believe next week, uh, next week is actually Christmas Eve at the normal time when we would do, would do this. So we're going to try to have some kind of content for you. Um, we may have a pre-recorded show. We may have a video. We may have just a post that says we love you and we're sorry we can't be there. Who knows? But if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like to see from us, let us know and we will try to accommodate it. Um, but it is the holidays, so we're going to do our best. Um, I want to thank Stephanie Powell for being an awesome social media coordinator for us, manager, director of that entire area of our our show so thank you for that and also stepping up to be our first guest of season two um if you'd like to follow me particularly you can find me um at anna prosser for facebook twitter um and instagram i just got an instagram so please follow me because i am up with the times now and then anna prosser tv on youtube um also be sure to check out i i would dare call it our sister show I don't know if everyone would agree, but I would dare call Roleplay our sister show, so be sure to check them out. <laughs> well, it's like our brother show. Yeah, our brother show. <laughs> there you go. We're their sister show. Uh, our brother show, Roleplay, they had some very interesting developments this last week, so be sure to check those out if you haven't. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, see you soon. Steph? Um, I don't have much to say. Thank you for following the show. And thanks to the uh, cast, Neil. Have a happy Christmas, everyone. Miss Harvey, Steph Harvey, Arvinator on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. <laughs> Neil? <laughs> thanks, thanks for, for watching, you. guys. Um, 
as always, what everyone else says, thank you, thank you. Uh, I will be doing a bunch of stuff this week. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep tonight uh, because I didn't last oh, night. Oh, for you, Neil! Yay! That's good. Um, but I will be streaming all day tomorrow, from whenever I wake up through Thursday, maybe through Friday, but probably not. And then a bunch on Friday, a bunch on Saturday, all day Sunday. And then I have to go to see family for Christmas. Oh, which is man. a drag. Um, and I'm going to try and stream from there, but there's no like actual internet out in the middle of nowhere. So I don't know if I can actually stream through my 4G network on my phone. We're going to try it. It may not work. <laughs> um, it's gonna and then there's... Like it's call it in. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to do a big marathon stream this over New Year's because I'm all alone for New Year's this year. So I'm just going to play video games Ooh. from, I don't know, Monday through Wednesday. And then I think there's going to be role play on Thursday. Uh, role play Eben Thursday. Yeah. Oh, also role play Eben this Thursday. It's a busy month. Hmm. Uh, that's it? Yeah. Um, okay, uh, guys, just follow me on Facebook. I decided this week it's uh, facebook.com slash pink. That's just that's all I want for Christmas. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to try to stream from uh, Las Vegas because I'm going there with my family for Christmas this year. And I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I need to like find a laptop that can stream and then stream from there. That's my mission right now. And if you happen to live in Vegas, I might at some point try to go to like a gaming bar. I heard there's one. So maybe we can do a meetup there. We're probably going to be like two max because I have no idea how many Las Vegas people watch misclicks. But anyway. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, see you next time, which is not scheduled yet. So see you soon. Bye-bye. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>